In today's edition of fitting unnecessary gadgets to your car, we are looking at this. The Bluetooth battery monitor, Bluetooth 4.0, battery monitor 2. It's one of these BM2 things. Looks a bit something like that. It's got a little QR code on there so you can scan that, download the app, plonk that on the battery and uh, we'll see how it works on the car. Now, on the back of this thing it says receive notifications of battery conditions when you're in the Bluetooth range. Check vehicle cranking system automatically while engine is starting. Now this is something that the top down battery tester will do. Uh, check the charging system, as in the alternator. List the time of each driving, so if that's your thing. Alert mobile phone if some data abnormal. Well, this is obviously translated from Chinese very badly. Short circuit and reverse connection protection. Data stored in the battery monitor <coughs> for up to 31 days if it's out of sync. So I suppose that's if you're not connecting your phone to this or your phone hasn't connected for whatever reason, it will store data in there for up to 31 days. Automatic synchronization whenever you're in your Bluetooth range. Compatible with all 12 volt vehicles. Um, reviewed historical data graphically. Engine start and detect automatically. Free app for both the iOS and Android. Input voltage, six to 20 volts. Blah, 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 blah. BM2, built in protection and it says it's got a 1.5 milliamp draw so if you're going to leave your car parked up for a long long time without a charger on it I don't know how long it would take to flatten your battery but we're going to plug it on we're going to see how it goes so I'll get it on the car uh, and then I'll just film it on my phone how I've put it on there. I'm hopefully not going to be able, not going to disconnect the battery. I'll just be able to slacken the terminals and off enough to get those on. So I shall be over there and then get it fitted, and then I'll be back with you. We'll get in the car, see how easy it is for this app. It's warm. I don't know quite how warm it is. Wait a minute, this, uh, that's connected to the car now. Uh, I want to screen record. Whew. I had to shut that window because of the uh, the wind. Right. So I want to go to. I've got it set in car stuff. Battery monitor. Searching for device. Connecting, connected, synchronizing. It says low power, 12.25 volts. So what I'm gonna do now is start the car, basically. And we'll see what happens. Let's turn all this air conditioning off. So it's now come up, it says it's charging. We're doing 13.78 volts. That is proper hot in here. So you've got your cranking test, low cranking voltage, idle condition test, start engine, start testing, high RPM test, the old one is two and a half thousand RPM. It's all come up green. Charging system okay. What's this one here? Do the end one. That says trip. There's no data for the trip. So battery at the moment is 13.70. It doesn't ever go up too much really because it's the smart charging, isn't it? So, so we've got in the settings. Bluetooth device, daily power notification abnormal cranking notification power alarm language hardware installation firmware online FAQs the version just general stuff really cranking test cranking voltage was 9.2 something volts 
Now these AGM batteries will take a bit of a beating really because they're they're more suited to these sort of cars. All the stop start cars have got AGM batteries because they will take the constant stopping and starting and the constant loads put on the battery whereas a, a, an old-fashioned lead battery as we know from experience doesn't work well on this car uh, it worked fine for a year and then it just went battery at it um, just it couldn't keep up so it seems to work quite well um, it does a charging test a cranking test uh, and just a general charging Can you refresh it or what? I don't know. What's that button do? No, that just do, disconnects the Bluetooth. So, yeah, all good stuff. Right, I'm going to switch the car off and we'll see what it says. I mean, that's saying low power. Battery's at 51%, but I'm not so sure. Tina went out in the car this morning, so it should be charged up quite nicely. I mean, it's coming down 12.6. It says low power, but it might be low power for a normal car, but for the Range Rover, I mean, that's sitting at 12.6 now, so seems all right to me. Um, it will obviously come down over time. The car's still active. One, until I lock the car and it all shuts down, it's not going to do anything, is it? So, but yeah, seems pretty good. So it does seem to work. We'll keep an eye on it. If it starts pulling the battery down a bit too much, I'll take it off again. It's as simple as that. I'll put a link in the description. It's more unnecessary nonsense from AliExpress. <laughs> if you've got a, like a leisure battery or something. Oh, it has got some instructions inside. They're quite comprehensive, actually. Which is unusual for something Chinese, isn't it? And it's not actually bad English, to be honest. You can have it so it sends you notifications if your battery's getting a bit low, this, that, and the other. I'll put a link in the description. As I say, more unnecessary gadgets on the car. <laughs> Hope you liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.